everybody back again and today we are going to be testing our finished arming sword based on the Dark Souls single-handed arming sword. This is a needle pointed double-edged small sword that is a one hand and a half hilt so it's a little bit of a bigger hilt for such a small blade but that's just for maneuverability and control. It's the way I designed it. It also is a statement piece. As you can see I've gone ahead and shined up all my wire wrapping and I've also gun blued both of the guards here. I left these little grooves here shiny so they can catch the light and reflect it, really give it a distinguished look. And this is a seriously cool looking sword now. Um, I've also gun blued just a little accent piece right there at the base, a little apex as it comes out pointing towards the point, you know, sharp side goes in the bad guy sort of thing. Sword's now all finished up and ready to go through the ringer, see if it'll survive the testing. So let's see if this beautiful blade's worthy of selling. We've got our nice coffin handle with the wrap chain on there, so it looks like something's chained up in the handle. Uh, this is a very aggressive looking sword, and I look forward to seeing how it functions. Let's get right into it. First off, we gotta do our strength test, see if it survives. And aside from getting a little dirt on there, it didn't mess with the sharpness at all. Everything's still straight. Yep, everything's still straight. Everything's still sharp. Let's get to the uh, let's get to the fun part. Now let's go ahead and do something that is quite a nightmare to a bladesmith. If you make knives and swords, you know what I'm doing with this piece of leather and my vise here, and I'm sure you like it just about as much as I hate it. Oh man, that sucker is hard to bend. It does flex and it does return to true. Good God, that medial ridge on there makes that sucker stiff. But as you can see, it stays straight. It doesn't bend off drastically to one side or another. So it's a good temper on there. Nice and springy, nice and stiff. So I got my buddy Chance here from Roll For Your Soul. He's the DM over there. If you guys want to go see a really cool podcast, go check that out. He's going to uh, do a couple of cuts today, too. It destroyed the bottle. <laughs> Dude, how... Okay, I want to know how... That was much more clean. <laughs> Your face is covered in water. I know. <laughs> oh, that was that was very nice. Aim for the bottle. right in half. Let's go on to some uh, harder plastic, shall we? Maybe a little bigger with some harder plastic. Can we get a two for one? If I can get these to balance next to each other. What about a big boy? <laughs> Let's do a two-handed cut for this, just because it's bigger. Get more control over it. So all in all, I would say that this sword turned out pretty dang well. It's uh, still a razor blade, 
didn't get too dirty, easy to clean up. And uh, yeah, that gun bluing really changes the appearance drastically on this sword, really makes it pop. Makes it very, very aggressive looking. Very uh, Dark Souls medieval vibes coming off this thing. Just take a look at that bluing on there. I'm actually rather impressed. I might have to start doing this on more blades because uh, it's my first time using gun blue and it actually really makes that hilt pop like a dark silvery shine to it. It's really nice. But that does it for today's video. If you guys like what you've seen, you know what to do. Do me a favor and do that thing right there. And until next time, God bless. Stay sharp out there. If you're looking for a custom sharp object like this one, check out the Etsy store. Link at the end of the video.